Hey everybody, welcome to the Dash of Elan. Got another battle report for you today. This one's actually a mini battle report. I'm doing a little bit of different format, tinkering with some different things. Let me know what you think in the comments. But anyway, this is a battle group, World War II uh, battle report. Uh, played on my 6x4 table using forces of about 350 points. Actually, both armies are a little smaller than that. Uh, it's what's considered in the rules a squad level game. Uh, that is maximum point value of each side is 350. You have to have at least one squad of infantry on each side, that sort of thing. If you know the battle group rules, you know what I'm talking about. But I hope this is entertaining, a little bit informative for you guys and show you how battle group works. And this will be my actual full battle uh, in my new game room. So maybe you'll get to see that layout a little bit as I go through the, the battle. Uh, great game. I thoroughly enjoy this set of rules for World War II game and highly recommend it. If you haven't checked it out already, check out my vlog, World War II Madness, my World War II Madness. It's a separate playlist on the channel. Uh, and you can see my latest update and comments about what I'm doing with my hobby, and that includes some battle group. So you can see my thoughts on the game there. But anyway, let's get to it. Let's get to the forces. Let's get to the table. And let's get to the battle. All right, so here we are. There's the layout of the tabletop. We got a church there in the center. It's a pretty strong stone building with some walls on it. A uh, little farm in the center. Fields on the furthest side of the camera view. Uh, this side is closest. It's got a lot more hills, a couple hills, actually. There's another view of the fields uh, that are on the battlefield. Now, the Americans will be deploying on the left corner from this shot. Uh, the Germans on the opposite corner. Uh, the recon forces will deploy. This is the recon scenario, the recce screen, it's called. Uh, so yeah, we got a road going up the center, and I'll show you the objectives here in a second. But first, let's take a look at the forces. Now, I said this is a 350-point game, so as long as you don't exceed that, you're good. Here's the Americans. They have a platoon of, of Sherman tanks, one of which is a 76. They have a Wolverine M10 there in the center back. The Jeep is the forward headquarters. They have recon element of three vehicles, two M20s there, and a Stuart, which is a full Stuart. It's not a recce Stuart, but it's part of the recon force. So we'll deploy first. Uh, and they got a squad of armored infantry and an M3 half-track, including a 30 cal, bazooka, bar, that kind of thing. Germans are deployed. These guys are 341 points. The Americans are 336 points, by the way. Uh, the recon element on the far right is some 250 slash 9s, only two of them. A Stug battery, one of which is a Panzer Ace. Uh, they got a Panzer IV and a squad of Panzer Grenadiers. Uh, here's the scenario. Uh, the only changes I'm making to this scenario is that the winner of the recon battle, uh, which the length is determined by a D6, in this case four turns, uh, will be the winner of the recon battle, and the opponent will take an extra battle rating counter. Now, I'll determine that by how many, who has the most recon uh, units on the table at the end of that recon battle. Here's the layout of the tabletop. We got the three white markers indicating objectives. The farmhouse in the middle is the main objective. Farmhouse in the fields, that's another objective. And on the far right, there's some wreckage. That is also an objective. Germans, or the Americans rather, deploy their m20s the recon forces moving up through the fields there there's a an m20 he's securing that one objective there near the barn you can see a little stockpile of supplies there that's an objective they're going to secure that and in return the germans are going to secure that white objective on the right there which is a downed plane uh, that's their deployment there. They're closest to the church. They have another 250 you could see next to the church behind that stone wall. Uh, they kind of want to move up and not only secure this objective, but the one at the little farmhouse there in the center. Uh, and, of course, the rest of the Americans are moving up. The recon forces, including the Stuart and the other M20, they're moving up on the road there. They want to get up to that farmhouse, which is in the center of the battlefield as well, and secure that. They will have two objectives. Whoever gets that central objective will have two. And we'll take a look at some more of the action. There's a 250 half-track recon. Again, he's going to be hovering there, taking some shots at those uh, Americans moving up the road. Um, nice defensive position. The reinforcements for the Germans will be coming up in this direction as well. They'll probably be securing that uh, 
church. And there's the look of the objective so far. The blue marker on the far right is the German capture. Uh, the center and the far left, near that barn in the fields, is the American objectives they've captured, the green ones. And they accomplished that with the use of their recon forces. Uh, the Americans did lose an M20, as you can see there, which is totally outgunned by the 250s with their auto guns. Uh, this uh, 250 has moved up on the road and is using the M20 as cover, taking some side shots uh, at that Stuart, which was also pinned. Uh, but yeah, that M20 was taken out. The end result of the recon fight uh, was that it was a tie. Neither side had more vehicles than the other, more recon units. And here's some of the Americans moving up during their turn. They did have the first turn. They quickly brought on their M10 Wolverine, moving up behind that M20 there to secure that objective. Uh, see what happens with the M10. And of course, here's the infantry for the Germans moving on board. They got their half track and deployed their team, their MG42 team, uh, and the rifle team, which is just up ahead, heading for the central objective. Uh, the Americans have that center objective, so let's see if the Germans can take it back. Now here we are. We're going to switch to some video here. See the battle. This Now the battle lasted eight turns and all, which is kind of short. Uh, but fun enough. Uh, after about six, all the forces were deployed on both sides. Here you can see some endgame shots of the fight. Uh, didn't take long. Uh, again, the Americans lost that M20, as you can see closest to the camera on the road. They also lost that Stuart further up the road. Uh, you can see it there, up near the, near the top. That Stuart was taken up. Unfortunately, the Americans also lost one of their Shermans, which you could see on the far side of that woods uh, in the distance there. We'll get some good shots and close-ups of that in a minute. You can see the blue marker. That's the German objective they captured and held throughout the game. Now, the Americans held on to uh, two of the three objectives right till the end, but it was just the losses uh, that they suffered in the battle that forced them to withdraw. Again, a Stuart, an M20 and a Sherman right there you can see him uh, there's the elite panzer uh, ace in a stug moving up now those dice incidentally the red and white dice I'm using them playing solo remember I'm using them to show ammo depletion uh, reds are AP left whites are high explosive now there's the 76 Sherman kind of hung up in the woods he didn't have any targets they had a rule there that if you're further than two inches from the edge you can't see out of it blocks line of sight so he's stuff stuck in there uh, there's another 76 Sherman up ahead in the field been taking some shots at the Germans which occupied the central building uh, you could see the American squad moving up through the fields there on the left they took a few casualties but managed to hold their ground they could not continue to uh, advance further than that though uh, just too much fire coming at him uh, mostly from the Panzer IV which is over there on the left of the road can't see him uh, uh, the M10 as well the Wolverine did take a hit from the Panzer IV I forgot that and was destroyed so that was four, four lost units for the Americans there you could see the Panzer IV in the middle uh, he did take that shot and took out the M10 the M10 was not effective in this fight really just didn't have the orders to move it where I wanted to uh, wanted to move them around and getting close to the enemy tanks just was not gonna happen uh, there you can see the carnage in the middle 250 half track recon did take out that uh, or help take out uh, the infantry that was in this barn helping to secure this objective over here uh, there was an MG 30 cal team in that barn next to the cows uh, which was also taken out so that was another American unit that was wiped out so it was a lot of losses for the Americans and I'll show the count of the battle rating markers in a second and give you what their maximums were Americans did hold on to that again the M20 there there's the command jeep moving up he didn't do much not much at all actually but he's there in the battle uh, again there's the Americans moving up uh, it was a really enjoyable game. It was a bloodbath. The Germans really took it to the Americans the, who never recovered uh, from the clash and the recon. Losing their M20, it was just a downslide from that point on. So there you go, folks. Let's look at the battle.
there's a close-up of the look of the battle rating counters as the Americans. They attained 23 in this case. I did count the aircraft uh, as one towards their battle rating as well, if you're curious. Now, their battle rating was 23, but uh, there was an additional one at the end of the game they suffered. So that'd be 24. They exceeded, they lost. And here's the Germans. They only had 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 uh, towards their battle rating, and their max was 20. So they did really well. They didn't suffer a whole lot in this battle, really. So it was a good fight, though. So there you go, folks. That is the battle. Just a quick mini one. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, it was good fun. Highly recommended you try this if you're interested in World War II gaming. So there you go, folks. That was the battle. It was good fun. I really enjoyed it. Again, it was eight turns uh, in all. Six turns, all the troops were on the table. Four turns was the extent of the recon battle. And again, I used a special rule that the winner of that four-turn recon battle, uh, the opponent would take an extra battle raid encounter. Normally in a scenario, you, it's... You just, whoever has the most recon elements, you know, wins, and the opponent takes a battle raid encounter at the start. This one, I actually fought it out, uh, but it ended up being a tie. Uh, there was two 50s, uh, two 250s for the Germans going against uh, two units for the Americans, which was an M20 and a Stuart. They survived that four-turn recon battle. They went into it with an advantage, but uh, they overestimated the power of the 250-9. Those auto cannons can be deadly. Took out an M20. I don't know what I was thinking there, actually, moving the M20s up so uh, aggressively. Uh, but yeah, one was taken out, and the Americans lost a Stuart. They lost one of their, uh, part of their squad of uh, infantry, which was the MG team, which counts as a separate unit, so that's two. Uh, with the M20, that's three units gone. And they also lost, uh, let's see, the Sherman, the Stuart, the MG team. Oh, the Wolverine, they also lost. So that's four units they lost right there. The rest of the infantry for the Americans did take a couple casualties. Uh, for the Germans, they did lose uh, their rifle squad. Uh, they still had the MG team, which is part of that squad, but separate units, it counts as. So that cost them there. Uh, and that was the Germans that were hiding in the center objective, that little farm area. They were holding on to that, but they just took a lot of fire from the Sherman, uh, some MG fire from the M20, uh, yeah, they did have a Panzerfaust, which was ineffective. I remember moving them up in that building and immediately using the Panzerfaust to try and take out that Stuart tank. Yeah, it was a good chance of it, but uh, nap didn't work. They missed. Uh, good game, good fun. Really enjoyed it. The Panzer race rule for the Stug was awesome, but unfortunately, he got behind that one hill. Didn't do much uh, in that case. But I think he was responsible for taking out that Sherman tank uh, that was closest to the woods. I think he was. He was the one. Uh, good battle. Uh, not much infantry. Lots of tanks. Bumped the points value up for me. Uh, but I enjoyed it thoroughly. So there you go, folks. That's a mini battle report. I hope that uh, was entertaining for you. Showed you a little bit about the game. I intend to do lots more with Battle Group once again. Uh, as well as my World War II gaming. Again, check out my vlog, my World War II Madness. It's a separate playlist on the channel, and I keep track of all my updates and my various hobbies, in this case, World War II. And you'll see what I am doing next, and it's pretty exciting, so check that out. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you again soon. Take care.